Yo, what is going on, boys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you guys are new and you enjoy it, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment your favorite part. But guys, today's video is gonna be on my settings, you know, the sensitivity that I switched to that I haven't shared, and my overall warm up that I do. All the map codes will be in the description. Um, there's gonna be a full minute or so of my settings, so you guys can copy them if you wish. And arena points are gonna be reset, so if you're grinding for those, make sure you copy these settings. Um, I actually wasn't using these settings before last season and as soon as I switched to the new settings on um, the new sensitivity I started doing really well in tournaments and I felt like it just completed what I was as a player you know I, I practiced a lot in the sense doing all these warm-ups and stuff so if you guys want to look just like me in game be just like me all that stuff then this is a good start for you if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you like and comment subscribe you guys know what to do but guys let's jump right into this one alrighty guys so as soon as I get in the hub um, I'll just go over here and the nice thing about creative now is it's finally fixed It was broken for so long man, but you can go to your recent islands, whatever. That's what I have But the first map that I put in is the mechanics map that I do and then I usually go over and I put in the box fight map And then I'll run all the way over here. I know it's so far and I'll either put in an aim trainer Or I'll put in another warm-up map for today. We're gonna go peace control map though because the aim trainer is already in the feature practice how dope is that it's already in the hub for you guys so you don't even have to get the link for it. you can just walk over there but walking into the first one guys uh it's raiders mechanic practice routine and you don't need to see the number right now i'll put it in the description or it'll be on the screen for you and i do three sections on this map so we're gonna, just gonna start it and you're gonna run up to this big yellow circle here or rectangle i don't know my shapes this is why you should stay in school but Pretty much what it's going to do is going to teach you these little red circles or there'll be lines up here later. It's going to teach you the best way to master your sensitivity for each of the edits. Now, once you get the hang of it, once you start feeling good on it for the rest of the time, I just like to go through, see how fast I can edit stuff and kind of just be, uh, kind of be rift for a second, you know, where's my boy, shout out rift. But as soon as this one ends, guys, uh, it's going to go through, I think, eight different versions. So it'll be like eight minutes long. You're going to go through it on this side, and then you're going to go through it on this side. And then he's going to put a cone down. You're going to do the same thing. And then it's going to be the top ones as well, the little peanut butters. So once you're done with this, you actually can't respawn on this map. You have to end the game. So sad. I know. But you can start it back up once you get here. And then we have two of the different, I guess, category or two buttons to go through. Let's call it that because it'll show like a little check mark once you complete it. It's pretty cool. But for this one, guys, what you're going to do is you're going to go through the course. If you guys watch me on stream, you see me do this all the time, man. This really helps you get out of a box. Like, let's say you're just in a box here. Somebody jumps in, you want to get out quick. Boom, you're out. So this edit right here is really good. I like to go both ways. So sometimes I'll go down and then I'll go up, down, up, up, down. It's just moving your character, getting used to the different types of movement on controller mixed in with uh, a hard edit to hit as it is. And if you guys want a little tip and trick on this map, sorry, I can't really edit right now, I just got on. If you want a little tip and trick on this map, you're gonna want, as soon as you finish this edit and you're gonna go to the next one, you wanna look at the square that you're gonna be editing next. Boom, boom. You can see I'm just naturally doing it. And then once you start getting going on this map, you just start flying. It looks like you go a lot faster than you do, but you should, you should get the gist of it pretty easily. All right, so once you're done with that one, you're going to go to the one right next to it. This one's a little bit more complicated. You're going to triple edit through. Edit top down like this. Double edit stare. Already edit the stare into that. So when it looks quick, it should look something like this. Just like that. Now, if you want to take it slow, you want some tips and tricks. You know, I got you. You're going to double edit. And then you're going to force your way up here. Now, you see how I'm not moving straight, but I'm moving to the left because I know my next edit is to the right. So while I'm moving left, I'm gonna let go of this one, grab this. I don't even move my crosshair at all, right? This is all movement at this point. And I'm gonna grab this top one, start moving with it as I'm pulling down, right into the double edit. You're gonna place the stair as you're falling. Sorry, I messed up. And while you're falling, you're gonna move your crosshair over. And then while you're falling again, you're gonna move your crosshair to the edit and edit up. So same thing left. You add it up and then you can either go up or down here. I usually go down into that while you're falling and then right through. 
Once you get the hang of it, guys, it's going to take you a little bit to get the hang of this one. But once you get it, you're going to notice that your edits in game are going to get a lot quicker because you're not under pressure. You know what you need to edit. You can go full speed through stuff. And it's just going to help you a lot. Get used to your sensitivity that you're changing to if you are changing. All right, guys. So once I'm done with those two, I usually go over and I go straight to the box fight practice map. This is just more editing, getting used to your sensitivity, um, getting used to the new movement. If you change your dead zone, all that kind of stuff. And as soon as we get in here, I'm going to grab a spaz and a grappler. That's really all I use. I only do like two maps on this. And I'm going to go through these edit towers. Um, the first one I do is the triple edits all the way up. So you're just going to edit up. You're going to go through the whole thing. It's not that tall. It looks a lot taller than it is. And then once I'm done with that one, I go into the ramp flip into a double edit. Same thing with this, guys. You're going to go all the way up. Once you go all the way up, it resets you to the next one. So it's easy to like kind of know where you're at. And then the next one I do is a mix of all of them. Now, this one's going to get a little complicated just because of controller movement and lack of sensitivity. And I'm just going to show you slow at first what to do. So while you're moving up, you're going to edit this, double edit, edit down. So once you're done completing that double edit up, you're going to edit this down, move up a little bit so you can catch this and then rinse and repeat. It's going to look something like this. Something like that. I messed up at the end, but you get the hang of it. Once you can go fast, it starts to feel really good. If you, it looks a lot quicker than it is. And you'll notice that if you do this a lot and you start getting the hang of it. But these edits are ones that, if you're able to do this in game, like it's crazy what you can do. You start flying on people you don't even know is possible. All right, guys. So then from that one, I come over here next to the cages and I do this one. And then I'll do the one over there. And this is just what that was twice. So it's going to be the same motion here into a double edit reset and a double edit reset again. So if you do it quick, it'll look something like this. Oh, I messed up one. There we go. Something like that. And you see, like, I'm not wasting any time. No movement is wasted. My crosshair is always in the right spot. And if you practice the way you're supposed to do it, I know it's going to be difficult at the start. And it's like going to be hard. It's going to be frustrating. You're going to feel like you're not improving. But there's just going to be a split second where it just clicks in your head. And like that's what you're looking for when working on these edit courses. Now, this one's a little bit different. It's the same thing up. The two up. And then this one, you got to use your movement to get to the top of this to jump up. So while you're editing this, you're going to move to the right. Confirm the edit while you jump. And then while you go down, it's kind of... You'll get the hang of it. It's a little bit different. It, there's no resets, but let's see. You jump into it. Boom, right down the staircase. And you keep going. This is the most advanced one out of this map, I think. And the cool thing about this map, guys, is when you want to go back to the, you know, little loading lobby, all you gotta do is emote. And I kind of want to hit a little emote real quick, you know? But the next one that I do on this, guys, is the edit plus shotgun drills. And I only do two of these. This is kind of what we were doing on the last edit course. It's just to edit down into a stair. Now, if you want, you can place your own wall and kind of piece this thing up. It's up to you. I just like going really quick, as quick as I can through it. Because as a warm up, I'm just trying to get my fingers warm and make sure I'm looking at the right spots for everything, you know? Switch sides, you know the drill. And then as soon as you get through, it'll reset you back. The last course that I do on this map is actually this one right here. It's all the way at the end. Really easy to find. Triple it up, shoot, and then you're going to edit your way down into another target. I usually like to do two. My shotgun didn't shoot there, but that's cool. But I do two, and then I switch sides. But with these, you're just trying to go through as fast as possible. You can see I'm messing up quite a bit, and that's why it's a warm-up. It's something good to get your hands going. It's not supposed to be perfect, but the more perfect you make it, the more warmed up you probably are. All right, after that map, guys, we're going to go back to the hub again, and we are going to go over here. We'll do aim training last, but this shouldn't take you too long. You know, if you go through all these maps, you do everything. It should be about 30 to 45 minutes. Nothing like too hard, nothing hard on your fingers or your thumbs or anything. Um, and it should just be like a nice little easy workout to not a workout, a warm up to get you going through the day. All right, so this one, we're going to pick up a spaz and an AR. That's usually what I like to grab. Now, you can go through all these. If you're just switching a sensitivity, 
or switching settings or something, I would recommend going through every single one of them. And that's because you're getting all the training that this guy's put into his map. You know, Raider worked really hard on this shit and he, he works on a lot of different stuff, different scenarios. So I would go through all of them if you can, but because this is just my warm up, I usually go through number one, just walls, box the guy. You know, if you don't want to go all the way in, you can stay out, full box them, boom, all that kind of stuff. But this just gets your hands warm, your movement mixed with your, you know, sensitivity, crosshair, and lines it up real good. All right, next one I like to do is number two, and I only do this one for a few, but it's good to get a little edit cone in, because when I'm taking this wall, if I'm taking that top wall, right, when it resets, you want to make sure when you're taking it, you're holding cone. So you can hold a cone as soon as you break, and then when you take it, you already have a cone in there. All right, so the next one I like to do is actually number three. And this one just works on your side jump movement. You can piece everything up, full piece this guy, and get a shot off. And I like how it works both ways. So you see I'm grabbing that left wall. Boom. All right. And then I usually go down all the line. Um, I'm not going to explain it to you just so the video is not you know, too long or anything. But you guys should be doing all of these. If you really want to improve, if you want to get used to your sense, settings, everything, even if you just want to get better at the game, I would recommend doing all, like every single one of these every single day. And it doesn't even take that long. I, I think this map takes like max like 20 minutes or something like that. All right, guys. So we're actually going to go be back to the hub. And like I said, Scavox Aim Trainer. It's actually just Kovacs backwards, if you guys didn't know. A little brain tip for you. It's just an Aim Trainer in here. Uh, it does put you in a little matchmaking thing, but it's chill. And you get to go do your own little Aim Training. Now, I know a lot of people say you don't need to aim train on controller, but I think that's wrong. Um, if you want to be the best at something, you're going to work at everything to have it perfect. And, you know, if I'm missing some shots in game or stuff like that, I blame it on myself because I'm not taking that extra time to go aim train. So I would highly recommend aim training at least every single day, if not every other day. You know, if you're getting used to a new sense, I would do it every day. All right, guys. So it's a little updated from the last time that I showcased it. And we're just going to grab a shotgun and an AR. I usually just grab a blue AR and um, a shotgun. But all of these maps are really good. The best ones that I would recommend for controller is Tile Frenzy. And then I usually like to do a horizontal of some sort, either dynamic or horizontal. Both work on tracking. And then I do both reactions. I usually do a side jump. And then I'll go through one of these tunnels at the end. So I'm just going to show up a few of them. First one we're going to do is just tile frenzy, 50 meters, free play. And we're just going to go through all this. We're going to go back to hub and we're going to go over to the horizontal one. And I like to do this one a little quicker, 25 meters, nothing too far. And so after that, we're going to go to reaction CR. And pretty much what this is, is going to send a bot into your box. You're going to turn. Pump them every time you start moving around work on your reaction time and click on the bots hud and then we're going to go over to the other reaction reaction fs you're going to line your crosser up here and then react to the bots as they go all right guys and the last thing that i usually do on here are the side jump shots it's just your typical side jump shots you're just going to jump up shoot Place your wall. Oh, I did not know where that guy was there. This map. The colors on this are a little weird. But you're gonna jump up, shoot, place your wall. If you miss, I usually like killing them anyway. I'll build and stuff. But you wanna make sure, you see I fucked up there. You wanna make sure that you get up on this after you hit your side jump. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you comment down below what you wanna see next. Uh, we're going to keep that other series rolling. So a tweet should be out by the time this video is posted for you to put your clips if you want me to react to them. And as always, guys, I hope you have an amazing day. If you're bored, I got so much content, man. Go watch it. Go check it out. But yeah, have a great day, guys. Peace.